ई बायोलॉजी क्लास फातिमा कॉन्वेंट हाई स्कूल माय सेल्फ दीपाली चैप्टर सिक्स टिश्यूज लेट अस सी अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यू एंड एनिमल टिश्यू वी आर स्टडिंग इन डिटेल द एनिमल टिश्यू द नेक्स्ट टिश्यू इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ एनिमल टिश्यू इज मस्क्यूलर टिश्यू वी ऑल नो what are muscles in our body and what is the function of muscles in our body these muscles are tissues so muscular tissues consist of elongated cells also called as muscle fiber because they are in form of fiber as you can see it in the diagram they are strands of varied size bound together this tissue is responsible for the movement in our body muscle contains special protein called contractile protein which helps in contraction and elongation or relaxation for the cause of movement so only we can either stretch or bend our arms or legs or the body parts as and what and how we want we can move about some muscles by conscious will and muscles present in our limbs move when we want and stop when we this so decide to such muscles are called as voluntary muscles so the first classification of muscular tissue can be done as voluntary and involuntary voluntary means which can be easily controlled by our will or wish is called as voluntary muscles these muscles are also called skeletal muscles as they are mostly attached to bones and help in body movement under the microscope these muscles show alternate light or dark bands or stations which stay when stained appropriately you can see the bands in the given diagram it is something like you see a dark patch or a dark band and a light band again a dark band and then a lighter band darker band so because of this they are called at as serrated shins or serrated muscles as a result they are called serrated muscles the cells of these tissue are long cylindrical unbranched and multinucleated having many nuclei the movement of food in the alimentary canal or the contraction and relaxation of blood vessels are involuntary movements means you cannot control them so such muscles are called as involuntary muscles we can not really start them or stop them simply by wanting to do so smooth muscles or involuntary muscles control such movements and they are found in the iris of the eyes in the uterus and in the bronchi of the lungs the cells are long with pointed ends spindle shaped and uninucleated having a single nucleus they are also called unsterrated muscles why would you call them so because there are no dark or light bands the muscles of the heart show rhythmic contraction and relaxation throughout the life they are involuntary muscles are called cardiac muscles heart muscles cells are cylindrical branched and uninucleated so compare the structure of different types of muscular tissues note down their shape number of nuclei and position of nuclei within the cell in the table so you will be able to easily classify the third type of animal tissue that is muscular tissue into two broad categories voluntary and involuntary 
now this voluntary muscles are also called as serrated muscles they are also called skeletal and they have light and dark bands they are cylindrical long unbranched and multinucleated they are present in hands legs face etc or in the organs which are under our control voluntary organs of our body are made up of this muscles now the involuntary are of two kinds they are the smooth and cardiac now the smooth muscles they are also called as unsterated and they are associated with involuntary organs their cells are long with pointed ends unbranched and un uninucleated only one nucleus they have and they are present in wall of elementary canal ureter trachea and bronchi and diaphragm the last type is the cardiac muscles they are also called as heart muscles as located in heart walls they are involuntary in nature they are cells are cylindrical branched and uninucleated they do not have light and dark bands so they are again unsterrated muscles they are present only in heart and they function lifetime so are you clear with the muscular tissue this is what the muscular tissue of a human body or animals are classified into now let us see 
the last tissue that is the nervous tissue which helps in control and coordination of a body all cells possess the ability to respond to stimuli however cells of nervous tissues are highly specialized for being stimulated and then transmit the stimulus very rapidly from one place to another within the body the brain the spinal cord and the nerve cells are composed of these nervous tissues the cells of this tissues are called nerve cells or neurons a single cell is called as a neuron a neuron is made up of as you see in the figure the cell body the cell body has a nucleus and it is also called as soma and cytoplasm is filled in this from this a long hair like part arises usually each neuron has a single long part process called the axon that is the yellow line you can see here and this yellow line has many short branched parts at the end they are called as dendrites the dendrites are branch structures of the cell body and they have an individual nerve cell can be made up of a meter long many nerve fibers bound together by the connective tissue make the nerves the signal passes along the nerve fiber and is called nerve impulse nerve impulse allow us to move our muscles when we want to and the functional combination of nerves and muscle tissue is the fundamental to most animals this combination enables animal to move rapidly in response to stimuli so the nerve neuron unit of nerve was tissue is made up of a cell body which consists nucleus and the edges are branched which are called dendrites which are connected to the receptor body or the receptor muscle and the sense organs to take the impulse now this impulse is passed to the cell body from the cell body it goes on to the axons and this axons have a branched ending which is called the nerve ending which is attached to another nerve cell so this branching goes on and a long chain of system is called is formed and that is called nervous tissue the axon is surrounded by a myelin sheath which functions as an insulating material so that the messages do not get mixed up from one part of the nerves ending to the other this is the nerve cell or the neuron or the nervous tissue of the animal cell which are very very important for the control and coordination of any animal tissue or animal body you are going to study this in detail in standard 10 now you will be able to answer the exercise questions from behind the text or the chapter thank you